Hi, in this video, we're going to talk about creating realism and three dimensional form with your portraits. So far, we've discussed more about creating line drawings a little bit and um, drawing like generic features and proportions. But now we want to start to make our drawings look real and three dimensional. And the way to do that is to really think about planes of the face, flat areas, almost like our face is a little bit more geometric. And so what I'm going to do right now is share my screen and I'm going to show with show you this presentation. So right here, I have a illustration of a male's face that is angled in a geometric form. And so what we have here is the idea that light is coming down and shining onto a face. And the way that you can create a face to look real is through light and shadow. And so this illustration right here shows the planes or the flat areas of a face that catch light. The lightest area of a face will be your lightest values and then the darkest areas of your face or the areas that have the biggest indents and holes, so to speak, are going to be the deeper colors or the darker values. And so what we have here is showing you about how the brow bone that protects your eye socket, this part of your skull that we were drawing in the first lessons, um, have your eyes deep embedded into your skull to protect them. So you notice that the eye socket area is deeper in shadow than the highlights of the cheekbones. The bridge of the nose and the area of the chin is where light will come down and shine down on those places and be a lighter value. So there's a couple rules of thumb you want to think about. The eye area is usually a deeper value underneath the nose is deeper, the angle of the top lip is always darker, and the chin is always darker. Areas that are the lightest are usually the top of the forehead, the bridge of the nose, areas of the cheekbone, the top, the the area of the bottom of the lip, and um, the area of the chin. In the next illustration we have here, we can really see how this artist actually painted in a variety of gray tones the different values. So this can show that the lightest value, we'll just call it white, is like I said, the top of the forehead, the bridge of the nose, areas of the cheek, the bottom lip, and the beginning part of the chin. As we go to the middle planes, that kind of comes straight down, is a little bit more of the mid-tones, the angle of the forehead, the angle of the cheeks, the, the plane that comes down, and the rounded part of the chin. And then we have the deepest values, the corners of the eyes underneath the nose, the top lip and the neck. And you can see that through the values. In this illustration, you can see how an artist would begin to map out those areas of light and shadow. We're not talking about the real details in the feature. We don't see eyelashes. We don't see you know teeth or those types of things. This is just really taking the portrait into the basic geometric shapes of planes of the face the flat areas. And that's how you're going to be able to create three dimensions, whether you're doing it in black and white or skin tones, you want to make sure that your values, the dark and lights are accurate. On this particular illustration, on the right hand side, you can see how the angle planes of the face get it to look three dimensional and how it's applied to shading. Now, the other concept I want to talk to you about is edges, and we're going to talk about hard, crisp edges versus soft, lighter edges or less defined edges. And so the edges of a shape, 
the profile on a face, the um, outside edges of lips, for instance, um, the area of a chin are all where shapes begin and end. Those should have sharp, crisper edges. But the edge of a shadow of where it might be drawn here as a line, because we're just trying to di differentiate the planes, when you go to add value or shade, this should be a soft edge. You do not want to outline this to create realism. You can outline a little bit of your nose and have a line here, because that is an edge of a shape. The nostrils, will always have a crisper edge on the sides of the flared nostril because it's an actual shape. But the shadow of a cheekbone should always be fairly soft because it's a softer edge. So on a chin, a chin might be very crisp edge, but maybe as we start to blend towards the jaw, it could then be a softer edge. And so I want you to begin to think about not only how you draw something, but whether it has sharp edges or crisp and crisp edges or softer edges. And in our last illustration is actually the type of drawing we're going to make this week. And this is a drawing done in charcoal, and this shows a good example of light coming down and creating a shadow onto the face, light and shadow, and it also shows crisp edge versus soft edge. And so let's look at this drawing. Obviously, the light is coming from this area because this side of the face is lighter and this side of the face is darker. Notice that the edge of the nose is a crisp, sharp edge. So you don't see outlines here, but this shading goes all the way up to the edge of the nose to show that that is a crisp edge. But then areas of the shadow are softer edges. And so the area of the face, crisp edge, the shadow under the eye, a soft edge. Um, the area of the chin, a crisp edge, area of the jaw, soft edge area of the ear, nice crisp edge, inside some of the shadowing, softer edges. And so when you're looking, you really want to see that path of light. And we're going to be talking about that a little bit more. Path of light. The light follows a specific path and hits the top of the head, hits the top of the cheek, hits the nose in one path, and that creates light. And then in turn, the opposite side is areas of shadow, and that is a deeper area. The eyes are a little bit in shadow, that side of the face is in shadow, the chin is in shadow, underneath the nose is in shadow, the, the top lip is in shadow. And so by really thinking about the ear, for instance, notice how the light is really hitting the top of the ear and that area of the ear next to the cheek. And that is where the light is hitting, which is opposite than the other side. And so by really thinking about the planes of the face and how light hits your face, you'll begin to know where to put shadow. And then you begin to really think of whether that shadow should have a sharp, crisp edge or like a blurry, soft edge. So notice here is a crisp edge, high contrast, dark next to light because that's an edge. But underneath the nose, a softer edge. It's darker underneath the nose because that's a plane that goes in, but it's not like it's a line. It's a softer edge. OK, so we're going to um, talk about this a little bit more when I show you some examples from art history. But the theme for today is planes of a face, path of light and sharp edges versus soft edges.